Zcash mining farm. All right guys, so now we're out of the Zcash mining farm. So I'm over here because quite honestly, it's just too loud to do a video in there. I could try to turn the exhaust fans off, but you still would definitely hear the hum from the miners. And in the future, it's only gonna get louder and louder. So maybe it's just even a bad habit to be doing videos in there. So let's talk about my full setup. In addition to the 21 rigs I have there, I also have a Windows gaming rig, PC. Uh, I built this with mining in mind. It's loaded with two 1080 Ti's. And as you can see, it's right here, just mining away on NiceHash. I find NiceHash to be pretty profitable. Uh, some days I see up to what ends up being about five bucks per 1080 Ti. and that was towards the end of August. Right now, obviously, you can see it's dropped down as the market's gone through a little bit of a buffer as China said, hey, uh, all these ICOs you guys are doing because you've been doing a shitty job on a lot of them, quite honestly. We're gonna make them illegal because, uh, honestly, in my opinion, a lot of these ICOs have gone from awesome projects to a lot of the newer ICOs are really just, in my opinion, shit coins, spam coins, stuff like that. Really useless, no true potential, and mediocre teams at best behind them. Granted, there are some really good ones out there, so don't be offended if you've been a recent ICO and you're actually a good coin. If you examined my footage in the shed, you'll see there's actually only 20 miners in there. Here's the 21st I've just been experimenting with. I like to keep one rig in the house just to mess around with, play with settings, do whatever, and this one's sitting on a riser as these cards were too big to use with my trio build. They're the Gigabyte Aorus cards. They're a massive. However, I'm working on a new six card build, so make sure you're subscribed. Stay tuned for that. If you're wondering, as a lot of people wondered in my last video, I, they, they think I'm dumb for having three card rigs. Look, this is just the beginning. Uh, minimal moving parts here, very basic, super stable. Never had a problem with any of those. So that's why I went with them. They're always expandable. Six cards and then seven if I want to use an M2 adapter. But I built these with uh, six cards in mind. So now the next phase is going to start to begin as I expand all of these out into six card rigs. Make sure to subscribe because this journey is going to get crazy. Probably wondering how profitable is this? How profitable is all my stuff? This is my September mining update. I've done one of these every month for the past several months since I really began. Check out the channel and I'm gonna make a playlist with these and you're gonna see how crazy and rapidly my mining farm has evolved as I'm trying to keep pace with crypto, but it's a race that you'll never win. So on average, my trio rigs are bringing me about $10 a day. If you run the numbers today, you'll say that's way inflated. If you run the numbers a couple weeks ago, you say that's, well, uh, undervalued. So this is constantly changing, like everything in crypto. And in my opinion, based on all my research and all the numbers that I've ran, these rigs net about 10 bucks a day, give or take the power cost, depending how you calculate it and so on. So I'm gonna say about 10 bucks a day. In addition to that, my Bitcoin mining contract with Genesis is actually one of my most profitable investments, surprisingly awkwardly enough. I bought a 20 terahash mining contract with Genesis Mining. If you wanna join, and this isn't one of those crazy like shifty things to try to get you all to side up under Genesis like I see a bunch of uh, producers do, it's like, Come on, dude, like be honest and be real. If it sucks, it sucks. Like my Monero contract with Gen Genesis is a massive joke. I haven't been paid out in over a month. Can you imagine how frustrating that is? They, I hope I get an awesome payout when that's corrected because Monero has gone through the moon since that time frame, and I have yet to be paid. And last time there was an issue with the Bitcoin payout, I kind of feel like I never really was compensated for that period where I wasn't getting paid out, but that's another subject. Back to the matter, which is simply this contract, the Bitcoin contract pays me about 25 bucks a day, which is actually pretty fucking good considering I spent like 2,400 bucks or something on the contract, which would make it more profitable in a sense almost double to two times more profitable than the trio mining rigs that I build. However, it's not mine. I don't own the hardware, it's off base, and I really have no control, so I don't really like that. However, I wanted to diversify my stuff a couple months ago, and I have no regrets. The Bitcoin mining contract has been super profitable. In addition to that, I just got an email that they sent some early bird bullshit that basically they're gonna be bringing back the Bitcoin mining contract as well as they stated Dash and Litecoin. So if you're interested in cloud mining and getting into that, save my code, wait for that time, as they'll be bringing a lot of hash power back up for grabs soon. Monero, um, if Monero returns back on, that'll be great. If not, Monero can fuck off as far as Genesis Mining is concerned because it is so annoying that I have not been paid for over a month. I've since sold my two Bicycle Miner Cubes. They were awesome miners. However, I saw the looming uh, big boy Dash Miners in the distance and I was like, probably time to get rid of these because their profitability is about to go to zero, in my opinion. And so I went ahead and sold them. Awesome Miners, don't miss them, made a good profit there. And I have an Ant Miner 
D3 on the way, which I'm super stoked about. I also sold my L3 Plus. I got an offer for it that I couldn't refuse. I kind of regret it. I kind of don't. The offer was, I mean, I sold the thing for five grand. I mean, that was hard to do. I paid 1500 bucks for the thing, or 1400 bucks. Probably 1500 bucks with freaking import tax. Thanks, FedEx. That was 43 bucks if you're wondering for one minor. On that note, the L3 Plus was absolutely phenomenal when I had it. I loved it. Zero problems. Freaking breeze. Great. But again, with that offer, I was like, oh, come on. I can't, I can't deny that. I turned around. I built a couple more trios with it. Some people would think I'm crazy. I would too. Other than that, my massive investment into that shed, which again, I'm going to go into in a different video. You can subscribe to the Boss Coin YouTube channel to check that out. Um, crypto has been pretty crazy. I have, uh, so if you look at all my stats here, um, I've got right now, I'm running the whole mining operation as a whole generally as a whole off of power line adapters. I'm checking it out. I think I've noticed a slight uh, decrease in overall hash power because of that, maybe just due to uh, network stability. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put the modem and router back out there and see if I get that hash power bump back up. It was about, um, I think it dropped from like 29.5 to 28.7, something like that if you look at these numbers right here. And then you're also wondering, well you said this is a 35K uh, Zcash farm. It is. I just don't have all of them sitting on fly pool. I also have these three rigs right here, testing a Zencash and mining Zencash. I think Zencash is a really promising project as well as a Komodo and Hush. In addition to that, the fourth rig inside is testing a Zcash pool, and I may do a Zcash pool comparison like I just did for a Zencash pool comparison to see you know what kind of varied uh, earnings we're getting here. Fly pool is established as the biggest and baddest Zcash pool around, and that's why I went to it because I was getting the best and most consistent earnings. So if you're wondering what Zcash pool I currently recommend, it is absolutely fly pool. Also, one of the questions I recently got was what the top five coins I'm holding as of right now. They would be Ethereum, Economy, Zcash, Zen, and OMG. So that's me, that's what I have a lot invested in. And again, that's gonna be diversified a little bit further here soon. So make sure to uh, stay up to date on the Voscoin YouTube channel by subscribing. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.